Greetings, YouTube. I am in between classes, and I am fighting Silver Centurion because we know, we know that I have no life. <laughs> uh, as you can see from his PI, this is not the Cavalier version. This is the uncollected version. I always recommend that uh, most summoners who, like myself, have some skills but aren't the uh, best of the best, start off with uncollected to get your feet wet, kind of practice some uh, animation dexterity, and just kind of see what these new champions are all about. Jumping into Cavalier, to me, is like jumping into the deep end when you haven't swam in the kiddie pool before. Not that uncollected is a kiddie pool, because it can still make you wrecked. And Lord knows I have had many erect fights in uh, uncollected before. But my goal with these videos is to not just win the fight ultimately, but to show you what to expect in uncollected and kind of even as far as the animations are for everything. So he's got thermal lock. He's got defensive ability accuracy lowered 40% wonder the effects of incinerate. Mystic Conditioning 2, Static, Defense, Quick, Spark. So you can see if the defender is not struck within 6 seconds, the attacker receives an incinerate debuff dealing 5% of defender base attack over 6 seconds. So because of that, I'm going to bring in my MVP Red Hulk. And we're just going to see how Red Hulk does in this fight. And I might actually want to get those incinerate charges. Uh, pretty cool animation right off the top. Look at those flying... Uh, what are we going to call them? Planes? All right, we're going to check out the special one first. Unless he doesn't attack. Okay, there we go. Special one. And check out incinerates. I just absorbed them all, y'all. I just absorbed them all. Now the lock is ready. So now I am getting some shocks, and those I cannot incinerate. Or those I cannot absorb. Okay. So pretty interesting uh, mechanics. I can tell... Because how many people are shock and incinerate immune? Not many. Uh, I can tell he's going to be a problem in that regard on defense, or at least could be. I've been wrong before. But you can see, I really want to, let's let's test out his heavy. Show us his heavy. There we go. Okay, interesting. Okay, so let's check out the special two now. Let's see if we can learn how to dex it. I have not received much damage at all. It's not like I'm playing any certain way. Okay. Uh, multiple hits which is taking uh, about 50% of my health. And then he's down. Red Hulk for the win. Okay. So, I mean, the title of this video is going to be Red Hulk for the win against Silver Centurion. Um, my biggest advice is is to bring somebody in like a Human Torch. You know, somebody who um, incinerates actually help. And there aren't that many champions that are incinerate immune. And if you don't have somebody ranked up that's incinerate immune, but you have them in your roster, I would highly recommend that you rank them up. Because one thing that I have noticed, not just in the event quest or side quests, but even in incursions, uh, incinerate immunity is more and more valued in the game. And that's why I've always believed that the Red Hulk buff was one of the best buffs Kabam ever did. And it was one of the OG uh, buffs where we got to really see the value of uh, I think he was beta test. Maybe he wasn't. But either way, he was uh, certainly buffed big time. I think it was around patch 12.0. It's been years and years and years since Red Hulk was buffed. But that buff has not just stood the test of time, but it has eclipsed so much utility from so many others because of new nodes that really do punish players for not being incinerate immune. And like I said, most people aren't incinerate immune. So bring in Red Hulk if you have him or somebody else that you think can be either immune or even absorb. Because Red Hulk isn't just considered immune. He actually absorbs it and gives himself a heat charge, which is just fantastic. So Red Hulk for the win against Silver Centurion. That's the takeaway from today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Most importantly, I hope that it helps you when you fight this boss. I don't care if it's uncollected, cavalier, master, whatever. It's for everybody to hopefully gain that knowledge.